Hi guys, so this one I hope is gonna be a fun one. Um, uh, thank you for all the support I'm getting for the Bonnet Air Vents on this car. Incredible, amazing product. Uh, uh, and uh, I always try to address frequently asked questions. So who wants information can have the full instructions, no problem with that and everything is well described. But to bring it out to the general audience that uh, has not bought them or that uh, has decided not to go with them but has concerns and frequently asked questions because maybe they want to install a different version or uh, buy some vents from someone else. I want to uh, just uh, be a myth buster today and uh, show you how and why uh, water from above will not be a problem in your engine. Okay, so point number one, uh, the bodywork. The bodywork inside let's see for example the strut towers and everything that is below that the bodywork is the same painted bodywork that is outside the car so you would not be concerned if it will be raining outside of the car okay and on the other hand the electronics the electronics we got here our fuse box our fuse box is uh, IP rated like all the fuse box for the long time in uh, in modern cars but for the last 30 years and they've always been insulated in one way or the other and they got better at it like at all things so also here it will rain and it will make no problem but you know what let's take a huge bottle of water and pour it down and see where this goes just bear with me okay So this is just plain water, let's make it rain. Half on one side. And half on the other side. So in this way we are accelerating a simulation about uh, uh, it being like under the rain for, for hours or in a, in a rainstorm. So let's see what happened inside. Let's just get this bonnet opened again. Okie dokie. Gotcha. So I'll make a close up video of this, but basically the cover of our ECU has been working. In my case now it's just tied in one, uh, on one side because uh, uh, I've been doing some, uh, some brake bleeding today so this is no problem. And we see that in fact our fuse box is all wet, our strut bar is wet and down here just cables that are all insulated themselves. On the other side, yes, we got our coolant reservoir that is flooded and uh, only tubes, a couple of connectors down here, but nothing that, uh, that would be, this is just grounds basically, that would be a problem. I have been running this for almost one and a half years now in the car, and this will make no issues at all. But the benefits you will get from well-studied uh, vent, uh, hood vents, and not only mine, if they're well done, just <laughs> go with it, are incredible in terms of cooling and in terms of aerodynamics. So don't worry about this and uh, have fun by modifying your bonnet. Oh, last thing, sorry, sorry, sorry. TUV for Germany. So TUV will tell you that you can install bonnet vents if they have in their, let's say, shapes, some radiuses that are not inferior to two millimeters and on the other hand, uh, you can cut the outer skin of the bonnet, but the inner skin of the bonnet, you can cut it up to this point. You see this rear crash section of the bonnet? You have to keep this line, okay? So, even in the case of these WRC-inspired uh, bonnet vents that are just the same as on the World Rally car for the maximum performance, you can still install them but just cut less the inner skin 
and TUV will give you an approval for this. Obviously, it's many times up to the inspector, but uh, if you don't find somebody that really wants to break your day, uh, this will be fine. So, once again, thank you for following. Please subscribe and have a great day. Goodbye from IDA Club Sport.